it here. There we go. Michigan taking on Indiana. 3.30 Eastern kickoff at Indiana. The Wolverines are minus 9. Totals 53. We saw a 1.5 point move toward Michigan and movement upward on the total. The Wolverines open 9. And, I'm sorry. They open 7.5 up to minus 9. Total open 51.5 up to 53. 61% are leaning Michigan, 84% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Hoosiers are plus 305 on the money line. Now, if you like the Hoosiers in this matchup here, just keep in mind they're taking on a Michigan squad who's 8-2 and two straight up on the year. One of those losses uh, came to a very uh, strong Penn State squad. They're also 6-1 and one against the spread in their last seven. They've been covering machines as of late. They rank the top 15 in points allowed, top five in pass yards allowed. This defense is amongst the best in the entire country. Ambry Thomas and Lavert Hill have three interceptions apiece. Josh Uche, seven and a half sacks on the year. And Quiddy Pay, five and a half sacks for him. Now, Michigan, their top three in yards allowed per play. Top 20 in rush yards allowed. So like I said, the story of this Michigan squad is that defense. They do have weapons on offense. I understand that. But this defense has really been uh, anchoring this team. Now, Indiana on the other side, they failed to cover against the likes of Maryland and Ball State this year. They rank 102nd in rushing, 61st in offensive scoring. Uh, they lost to Michigan State this year, 40-31. to they gave up a 40-burger to Sparty. Meanwhile, Michigan just, uh, you know, shutting uh, Sparty down, uh, really dominating in that game. Now, total-wise, Indiana, 75% to the under at home. Michigan, top 15 in yards per play allowed on the road. I'm going to lean Michigan Wolverines, minus 9, and the under 53 in that matchup there. Next game, Texas taking on Baylor, 330 McLean Stadium. The Bears of Baylor. Or minus five and a half at home. Totals at 